Hello, Ellen here. I wanted to tell you about Seth finally. Uh, like I said before, he is my guard dog. Even before I was in magic, before I started ghost hunting, he was already there. I just didn't know who or what he was. Um, one time I was helping a friend uh, with a cleansing. Uh, a family was cursed. Uh, there were demons in that house. And she asked me for help because she couldn't do it alone because it was too dark. I did an evocation uh, with Seth to ask him to remove the demons, uh, just to take them away, and he did. My friend was filming this. I will show you a little bit about it uh, after this. Um, she did talk to me and confirmed it was Seth, but it is in Dutch. But I translated it for you so you know what it is about. But I wanted to tell you about one of the first times that I knew there was something with me that always protected me. This is going to sound really weird. Uh, it was for me. It happened when I was around 16 or 17 and I'm 41 now and it's still in my head. Uh, there was this bar where me and my friends went to every week. We pretty much knew everybody that was there. Uh, including some really bad people, but we knew them all. They just stayed away from us and we stayed away from them. But one night they were, uh, well, picking fights with my friends. Not me, that was already, uh, already weird, but uh, just with my friends. Just uh, shoving them around, keep bumping in, uh, in on them on purpose. Just picking a fight, uh, really mean. Uh, we got sick of it and we left the bar. I was really angry. I was, well, pretty pissed off because, uh, yeah, we just wanted to go there like always, have a good time, drink a few beers and just have some fun. So I was, I was really angry and thinking in my head, I want to do something about it. Uh, can they just leave? I was really angry. But uh, one week later, we went back to that bar and they were there again. Um, same thing, messing with my friends, I got so angry, uh, I pushed them aside. Stupid thing is, they didn't do anything about it, they just stepped aside for a minute. But you can feel the, the tension, you can feel something was up. They were really picking on them, and I don't know what the problem was, but it was nasty. All of a sudden, out of nowhere, a group of men walked in uh, where we were standing. Uh, tough guys, long hair, tattoos, uh, everything, really big, and they were forming a circle around us. Uh, I have never seen these guys, um, neither did my friends. We thought it were friends of those nasty people that were messing with my friends, but they didn't know them either. All of a sudden, when they formed that circle around us, one of those guys just had a weird look in his eyes, a uh, weird color as well. And he just smiled at me and nodded and just looked at me like uh, we got this. It wasn't hitting on me or anything. It was just that nod from we got this. And I don't know, about 20, 30 minutes later, one of these guys that were uh, picking on my friends came up to me shaking like a leaf with a beer in his hand. Well, the beer was going all over the glass. It was shaking so hard. I didn't see any sign of a struggle or a fight or anything, but he was pale as a sheet, really scared, and told me that he was sorry, he shouldn't have started the fight, he was really sorry, was there anything he could do? He was like a little child that uh, well got into trouble with his mother or something, that is what he uh, sounded like to me at that point. And I just told him, yeah sure, you can leave this bar and never ever come back. And they did. We never saw them again. Same as the other guys. Uh, they left as soon as they arrived, out of nowhere. They're just gone. And I never saw them again, ever. That was uh, a night for me when I knew, okay, somebody is having my back. Somebody is taking care of me. Because the fear in that guy's eyes, I still, I'm 41 now, I'm still confused about it. He was terrified. And then the guy that nodded at me with that strange look in his eyes, uh, strange color, it was, I don't know, it was not normal. 
It was uh, I wasn't scared. The, the weird thing is I felt completely safe. I wasn't scared for one second. My friends were. They just got a little intimidated because they were forming that circle around us. But for some weird reason, I just told my friends it's going to be okay. And I had no idea who they were. But I was right. Everything was okay. We did go back to that bar uh, a few weeks after that. Uh, one of those guys is also a friend of those weirdos those, uh, that were picking the fight. But that guy was really dangerous. He had been to jail for shooting at people. Uh, really, really dangerous guy. And he looked at me, stepped aside. He said, you are her. Uh, I said, yeah, sure. What do you mean? Nothing. Just go in. And he left never go to be seen again. That was so weird. But that, that is when I just knew something's up. Something is with me. <coughs> Excuse me. But that's the beauty about it, uh, that the ancient gods, uh, demons, whatever, they have your back when they, uh, well, when you're on their good side. And they have been with me since I've been born, so they are always with me. But uh, now about the cleansing of that family. I did the invocation, of evocation, sorry, uh, for Seth. He, uh, he came to me, I felt him, my friend saw him as well. And well, we did the cleansing, he removed the demons from that house and uh, we got messages the following week that everything was calmed down. Uh, they could smile again, they were happy again, they could go to work and school again, so it was awesome, it worked. So from now on, when I have to do a removal of uh, curses, I just call Seth, I ask him to help me and he always does. And that's just uh, why I'm saying that he is my guard dog. I have a lot of examples, but this, these are the two uh, biggest ones. Uh, one of them, I will uh, show you a little bit of it after this. So, um, I hope you, uh, you like this. Uh, it, I know it sounds all really weird, straight from a movie, but welcome to my life. Everything is like a movie uh, with my life. So, um, next time, I don't know what I'm going to talk about yet. Uh, time will tell, and the ancient gods will tell me when they want me to talk about them. So, until next time. Okay, bye-bye. Hij zit er wel. Ja, dat is heel raar. Ja, ik weet niet, ik kan het niet helemaal plaatsen, maar ik merk hem wel. En het, ik hoop dat ik het nog terug kan zien, maar hij staat eigenlijk daar. Ja.